Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to understand the measurement command in AutoCAD. So the measurement command is you can write M E A in command line bar and enter. So this is a measurement command or we can say that this is a measure G E O M command and you can find out the distance, radius, angle, area and volume of any figure with the help of this command. So let's draw a particular line. So this is my line and I want to measure the distance of this. So I will use MEA enter and then distance over here. We have a distance. So select distance and I will select the end points, both end points. So it will give me the measurement of this line as well as what is the distance in the linear in X axis or Y axis. So this is the benefit of this command. We can also find out the radius. So let's make a circle. So this is a circle of suitable radius. Now I will take the MEA command and I will find radius. I will select the circle and it will give me the radius which is 74.25 something and diameter as well 148. So in this way, you can find out the distance and radius of particular figures. Now we will find the area. So I will delete this figures. Let's I make a rectangle and the dimensions of the rectangle. Let us suppose 200 by 100. So again 200 and I will fix this line. So this is the rectangle 200 by 100 units. Now. I'm going to find out the area of it. Now I will use MEA command, MEA, enter. Now I want to find area. If your dynamic input is on, this will be visible to you. If your dynamic input is off, you can select area from here. So I will select from here. Now you have to select the object. Here we have an object and select this particular rectangle like this. So it will give me the area, which is 200 multiply by 100 so it is 20,000 units and length is or you can say that this is a perimeter which is 600 in this way you can also find out the areas of any figure now escape now let us suppose there is a circle inside of this rectangle at any particular distance of particular radius I made a circle over here now I can also find out the area of this circle with the help of MEA command, MEA. So then area, then you have to select the object first. So object is circle. So you can see this, this is my area and circumference of the circle, then escape. Now, if you want to find out the area which is outside of this circle and inside of this rectangle, how you can find it in the same way MEA enter area again first in the command line bar it is add area so add area then you have to select the object the bigger object is rectangle so you have to select the rectangle first once you select the rectangle it will be a green the complete area will be green now you have to press enter because there is nothing any object you have to select now then enter once you enter it will give you the area of the complete rectangle but you have to subtract area. Which area you want to subtract? The circle area. Now in the command line bar, you have to select subtract area, then object. Which area you want to subtract? This circle. Once you select that particular circle, effective area will be given over here like this. You can also see this complete subtraction by pressing function key F2. So by F2, you can see here, this is the area of the complete rectangle and also this is a rectangle area and this area is of circle and this is the effective area after subtraction means outside of your circle and inside of your rectangle. So in this way you can find out the areas of any figure. Now you can also find out the volumes. So for volume you have to make your figures as 3D. For 3D I have to move to 3D modeling. In the 3D modeling over here, downside of 2D frame, I will select any one, but I will take it as a southeast isometric. Now I will use the command press pull. So here we have a press pull. Just select this and this area I want to pull up. 
So height, let us suppose I will take 30 and your figure has been done. Now you can see this is a 2D frame model. I will select it as a shaded portion. So this is my 3D figure. Now again, I will use MEA command, which is my year command. Here we have a volume. Just select the volume. Now you have to select the object which you want to find the volume. So here we have an object and just select on this particular 3D model. It will give you the volume of this particular 3D model. So in this way, students, you can find out the volume of anything or area of anything with the help of Meyer command in AutoCAD. I hope you like this video. If you have any query, you can comment in the comment section. Be happy. Thanks for watching this video.